Hey guys, today I'm going to try some Mexican candy. You can get like a three pack from the 99 cent store of this, um, Lucas Guanacea, I don't know, it's Mexican candy. It's basically supposed to be like flavored hot liquid candy. There's two flavors, there's, I'm probably butchering the pronunciation of this, Chamoni and Tamaradio. So let's try it. We're gonna try the Chimoni or Tamaranio first. I'm gonna tell you how it is. Here's a little liquid container. And then I guess you just squirt it into your mouth. Did it come out? I can't tell. But I will just squirt some onto my finger. Here's some on my finger. Oh, oh, that's nasty. Oh, it's not even hot, but it just, oh, that's a really bad flavor. Oh, I don't know why people even eat that. Okay, now for the chamoni, which again, I'm probably butchering the pronunciation. Get a little on my finger. Like it looks like it'd be hecka hot, but it's not. Oh. Oh, that was really bad. Oh. Oh, I do not suggest buying any of this Mexican candy. It's not good. Mmm. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Really bad Mexican candy. So then, I also figured, hey, why not? While we're trying candy, I got this also from the 99 cent store. And I know it says my name on it, but that's because I live in a house with two other teenage boys who love to eat stuff that doesn't have names on it. And so I basically I had to claim this just to make sure no one else ate it. And it's called Liberty Orchards Sparklers. Now it sounded really good, and what I thought they would be is like these little small cubes of kind of chewy candy. They're not. They're like these big ass rectangles. As you can see here. Big ass rectangles. And there's four different flavors. Pineapple, mango, and coconut. And banana, sorry. So we'll try the coconut first. Ugh. Oh, that's not good. That was not that good. Now we'll try the mango. Or no, I think it's pineapple, actually. Eh, not bad. Now we'll try the banana. Not bad, very banana-y. And on to the mango. Yeah, that was not good. So, I'd have to say the coconut's the worst, but the mango's also really bad. The pineapple and the banana aren't too bad, so for 99 cents, it's not a terrible deal. This box of little things, you get two of each flavor, they're the big ass rectangles. I wouldn't buy it again. That's my opinion, but not too bad. So if you're just feeling like, oh, hey, I want to try something new, these are different. Go on to the 99 cent store. That's where I got them. 99 cents. Really cheap. Got a three pack of the Mexican candy. I'll show you the package again. Right here. I have the 99 cent store too. And, um, no, oh, I think I drank this wrong. Now that I'm looking at that the back of the um, package of the Mexican candy, thinking I may have done it wrong. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, I did. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, so what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to open it and then push it from the bottom into your mouth. That's how you're supposed to do it. So I did it wrong. Oh, well. But it still worked. Got it out. And so... 
chocolate. That is all. I do not suggest buying this Mexican candy, but if you really like Mexican candy, hot liquid candy, then go to the 99 cent store. They sell three packs of these. Really cheap. Don't recommend buying this either. Not that good. It's different. I mean, buy it if you want to try something different. It's supposed to be fat-free, gluten-free, fruity confection. So, I mean, hey, healthy candy. Why not? So, it's not too bad for being supposed to be a healthy candy. But for being healthy, well, I guess it does have some inside with three pieces. So, it's not too bad. But that is all for now. And I'll see you in the next video.